Hello friends, welcome back to Infigyan. Today in this video, we are going to solve one very, very interesting and challenging question from algebra. Here we are going to find all six solutions. So let's get started by applying difference of two squares formula here because we can write x square minus 4 as x square minus 2 square. Now we know that a square minus b square we can write a plus b times a minus b. So x plus 2 times x minus 2. Now we will write our equation x plus 2 times x minus 2 times x plus 1 times x plus 4 times x plus 5 times x plus 8 plus 476 equal to 0. Now if I will add 8 with minus 2, 8 minus 2, addition of 8 with minus 2, this will become 6. If I will add 2 and 4, I am going to get the same result 6. And if we will add 1, with 5, we are going to get once again 6. So let us write all the brackets respectively so that we can multiply x plus 2 and we will write here x plus 4. Then x minus 2, we will write with x plus 8. And x plus 1 will be writing with x plus 5. Then we have plus 476 equal to 0. Now we have to multiply these brackets. These brackets we are going to multiply all together. So I can write x square plus 2x plus 4x 6x plus 8. Here we will be writing x square 8x minus 2x, again 6x, minus 2 times 8, minus 16. Here we will write product x square plus 6x plus 5. Then we have plus 476, RHS is 0. Now you can see x square plus 6x, x square plus 6x, x square plus 6x. So better is to write x square plus 6x equal to substitution by. So I will write here, let us say x square plus 6x equal to y. So I can write our equation y plus 8 times y minus 16 times y plus 5 plus 476 equal to 0. Now we have to simplify our LHS. We have to multiply all the three brackets. Then we have to add plus 476. So we will be getting y cube minus 3y square minus 168y minus 164 equal to 0. Now this is one cubic equation and we are going to use rational root theorem and synthetic division method. So I need to write here eligible factors of 164. So I can write here plus minus 1, plus minus 2, plus minus 4 and so on. Leading coefficient is 1 so we can write only plus minus 1. Now we have to consider ratio of constant to leading coefficient. So if I will take ratio y equal to 1, let's verify whether it will satisfy our equation or not. 1 cube is 1, minus 3 times 1 square is minus 3, minus 168, minus 164. It is not satisfying our equation. So this is not possible y equal to negative 1. 
सो माइनस वन क्यूब इज माइनस वन माइनस थ्री टाइम्स माइनस वन स्क्वायर इज माइनस थ्री विल राइट हेयर प्लस वन सिक्सटी एट माइनस वन सिक्सटी फोर सो यस वन सिक्सटी एट विथ प्लस साइन माइनस वन सिक्सटी एट सो यस इट इज सेटिस्फाइंग अवर इक्वेशन वी विल से वाई इक्वल टू माइनस वन इज अवर बेस सोल्यूशन टू दिस क्यूबिक इक्वेशन नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू यूज सिंथेटिक डिविजन मैथड सो आई नीड टू राइट ऑल द कोफिशंट ऑफ क्यूबिक इक्वेशन कोफिशंट आर वन माइनस थ्री माइनस वन सिक्सटी एट माइनस वन सिक्सटी फोर लेट्स अप्लाई एस डी एम सो आई विल राइट बेस सोल्यूशन वाई इक्वल टू नेगेटिव वन है वी आर यूजिंग सिंथेटिक डिविजन मैथड एंड कोफिशंट ऑफ क्यूबिक इक्वेशन वन माइनस थ्री माइनस वन सिक्सटी एट माइनस वन सिक्सटी फोर लेट्स पुट वन लाइन ओवर है लीडिंग कोफिशियंट वन एज इट इज नाउ वी हैव टू मल्टीप्लाई बेस सोल्यूशन विद लीडिंग कोफिशियंट वन सो माइनस वन टाइम्स वन माइनस वन वी विल एड दीज टू नंबर एंड राइट माइनस फोर है अगेन वी नीड टू मल्टीप्लाई माइनस वन विद माइनस फोर सो विल बी गेटिंग प्लस फोर एडिशन ऑफ दीज टू विल गिव अस माइनस वन सिक्सटी फोर now we have to multiply minus 1 with minus 164 we can write here 164 addition of both will give us zero so here we have coefficients for quadratic equation i will write equation y square minus 4y minus 164 equal to zero and base solution is y equal to minus 1 so i can write factorization y plus 1 times y square minus 4y minus 164 equal to 0 now we can apply product zero rule so we can write either y plus 1 will be 0 or y square minus 4y minus 164 equal to Zero. So from our first equation, y plus one equal to zero, we will get y equal to minus one. Now we have to solve this quadratic equation. So I will add one sixty four to both sides. So we'll be getting y square minus four y equal to one hundred sixty four. I will use completing the square method. Let me write here y square minus 4y equal to 164. Now I need to add four both sides, so I will write here plus four. So this side also will add four. So from LHS we can write this is one perfect square of y minus two. and in rhs we have to write 168 now we will take a square root both sides we will get y minus 2 equal to plus minus square root 168 now we can factor 168 and we can write equal to plus minus square root 4 times 42 now square root 4 is 2 so we can write plus minus 2 square root 42 this is equal to y minus 2 now we have to add two both sides so let me write here plus 2 plus 2 so minus and plus 2 from lhs we will cancel we will get y equal to 2 plus minus 2 square root 42 so here we have two solutions of cubic equation and first solution is y equal to minus 1 now y was our substitution x square plus 6x so i will write here y equal to minus 1 2 plus minus 2 times square root 42 now in place of y 
we can write x square plus 6x equal to minus 1. 2 plus minus 2 square root 42. Now we have to solve two quadratic equations once again. So let me write both equations separately. I will write x square plus 6x equal to minus 1. And here we will write x square plus 6x equal to 2 plus minus 2 square root 42. Let us consider our first quadratic equation which we are going to solve using completing the square method once again. So I need to add 9 both sides. Now LHS will give us one perfect square of x plus 3. And RHS would be 9 minus 1, 8. Now we will take a square root both sides. So we can write x plus 3 equal to plus minus square root 8, which we can write 2 root 2. Now we have to subtract 3 from both the sides. We are going to get first two real solutions minus 3 plus minus 2 square root 2. I can write here x1, x2. Now we have to solve our second quadratic equation. x square plus 6x equal to 2 plus minus 2 square root 42. Let me write here x square plus 6x equal to 2 plus minus 2 square root 42. Again we can use completing the square method. So we are going to add 9 once again both sides. From LHS we can write this is x plus 3 whole square and RHS will become 2 plus 9 is 11. So we can write 11 plus minus 2 square root 42. Now we will take a square root both sides and write x plus 3 equal to plus minus a square root of 11 plus minus 2 square root 42. Now we are going to subtract 3 from both the sides. So we are going to get remaining 4 solutions. I will write minus 3 plus minus a square root of 11 plus minus 2 square root 42. Now here we have 4 solutions. Out of 4, we have 2 real and 2 complex solutions. Let me demonstrate here. I will write x1 first. x1 is equal to minus 3 plus 2 root 2 x2 minus 3 minus 2 root 2. Both solutions are real solutions. Now the turn of x3. x3 equal to minus 3 plus square root of 11 plus 2 root 42. x4 would be minus 3 plus square root of 11 minus 2 square root 42. x5 is minus 3 minus square root of 11 plus 2 square root 42. And x6 would be minus 3 minus square root of 11 minus 2 square root 42. Now the point is 2 square root 42 is greater than 11. You can see this is greater than 12. So I can say here 11 minus 2 square root 42 would be negative quantity. 
here also this is negative so i can take minus common out so here we can write minus 3 and the square root of minus 1 is i plus i times the square root of 2 root 42 minus 11 and this is complex root or complex solution and for x6 we are going to get complex solution minus i the square root of 2 the square root 42 minus 11. So we are having 4 real and 2 complex solutions. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck. Take care. Bye-bye.